7.42 now, as if we weren't hungry enough already. <laughs> it is National Popcorn Day today. Love popcorn. Courtney and I were just talking. Do you love popcorn? Oh, of course. Right? Oh, so many different kinds. I too. know. Well, Cameron Fontana is live at the North Market, another thing I love <laughs> to celebrate. I'm so envious, Cam. I know, Karen. Happy National Popcorn Day. That's what we're celebrating on Good Day Columbus this morning. And we're hanging out with the popcorn queen. I'm talking about Pan's Market Popcorn. So today on GDC, we're going to make not only her famous popcorn, but show you some recipes that can you can infuse popcorn with your meals for lunch and dinner. So we'll throw it back to you guys. What is your favorite type of popcorn? Pete Ooh, and Karen. Good oh question. My gosh. Caramel corn. You think the caramel Absolutely. corn? Absolutely. I've had their yeah. Buckeye. Popcorn Ooh, too. That's pretty good. That too. sounds interesting. Mm. It is National Popcorn Day. Yes. <laughs> Cameron Fontana live at the North Market, learning about those tasty kernels mm -hmm. and all the variations there are to be had. Hey, Cam. Hey, Pete. We are with the Popcorn Queen of Columbus. This is Pam with Pam's Market Popcorn. How are you doing, How are you Pam? Doing, Cameron? Nice to see you I again. I have to ask you because we know we get popcorn. A lot of people come to you as the expert. Right? Why popcorn? Why did you want to get started in that? I have always eaten popcorn as a kid. My grandfather always popped it. It's a great snack. It's healthy. We ate it as, as kids. My kids love it, and I needed to do something. I was a single mom. You guys needed popcorn. I needed a job. <laughs> right. North Market, great fit. It, it's all been, yeah. it's been great. And you really open our eyes to that there's many different types of popcorn. I mean, you can see all these kernels here. This is, these are, um, this is all grown in Indiana, this variety that I use. They're okay. all non-GMO. They all pop white. The flavors are a little different in the texture. Uh, bigger's not better in popcorn. Okay. This is smaller bigger's and tender. Bigger's not better. Bigger's not better in popcorn. Has more. Uh, it's just more tender. Popcorn's very healthy. Only yeah. about 31 calories. So there you, you go. It's a great do all kind snack. of fun things. Um, so real quick, because we want to talk about how popcorn can be used in other avenues. What am I going to put in this? So the ingredients. This, uh, you know first. Oh, oh, in here. In the butter. This is just melted good old butter. Okay. That's that good? good. That's an Italian blend of herb. Stir it up. Stir it. Okay. And then, then you're going to pour that onto the popcorn. Just pour it on top? Pour it on top. And this is something people can make at home? This is it's just, it's, it's a fun way to jack it up a little bit. All give right. it a little more flavor. Well, we're going to continue to jack this popcorn to up. We're going to throw it back to you guys. Put some Parmesan. Parmesan cheese grated oh. and some sun-dried sun tomatoes. Oh. And you can oh get my gosh. crazy. <laughs> This is great. We it's certainly awesome. have our attention, Cam. Definitely. That looks wow. tasty. Around town this morning, Cameron Fontana celebrating a very delicious holiday. Yeah, who knew it was a delicious holiday? But you know what? We are learning and we are so happy. And he is live at the North Market celebrating National Popcorn Day with Pam's Popcorn. Hey there, Cam. What you guys doing this time? <laughs> Karen, this is really cool because, Pam, you have won five in a row five awards in, a row. in the Texas Fiery Food Challenge, right? That's right. So this year you're going for your sixth by entering what? This is my, I'm calling it Brutus Blitz. Brutus Blitz. And what are the ingredients? It's my vanilla butternut, which tastes like a marshmallow crispy okay. treat. Then I've got peanut butter chips in there. Then we've got a vat here of uh, milk chocolate. Okay, so I'm going to have you pour this into it. I put a little bit on this extremely large spoon. This is a very spicy. This is my. Um, what this kind is, is it? I can't tell my secrets, you but there, there is ghost in there. There's That's ghost all pepper. I'm Let me say. see. It's hot. I'm, it, it, I will say this: the ladies out freak the Ooh. men three to one in Columbus, and they're hot. That's very spicy. That's oh very my god. Very spicy. So how much Here. of that do you put in this chocolate? Um, we just kind of <laughs> roll. We just got to kind of. Oh man. Here, it, here's the thing: I really don't like hot, so. See, I like spicy, and I like it. I bet little, with the take chocolate. A, take a little. Okay, I'm using Let me know gloves. how you're feeling Let me it. See how it is. See, I might actually have to taste this because I'm going for the, the sex Oh, that's here. good. Add some more. I do. Add some more spice to it. So you pour this on top of that. We're going to pour that on there. I'm going to have you do it. Okay. You're going to help me win this six. I'm going to help you. So what is me. the contest? Is it just popcorn? Is it all different types? No, of it is all hot foods. Um, K. John is a, is is a sponsor of that, and oh. uh, that's why I love him. He is a spice and guru. And it's just that community you Yes. With. He oh. is absolutely my mentor to spice. Okay. I'm going to get just one more person. A little bit more. Good luck. There just we go. for good luck. There we go. We're going to toss it back to you guys, and I do want to finish with this glorious okay. pouring oh, shot. Oh, 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 no. Here we go. We want to know Look what it that. felt like to try that pepper. Yeah. Oh, my God. I just got a big... The, the pepper, it actually Ooh. wasn't too spicy. Oh, yeah. But it, it, I'm saying the with the chocolate, it helped tone it down. When with it was a straight chocolate. powder, 
It was, oh. it made me cough. No, it's bad, I'm dying. It oh made me boy. cough. Well, this Tuesday morning, Cameron Fontana is popping, you know, around town. Yeah, he's live at Pam's Popcorn at the North Market, <laughs> celebrating <laughs> National Popcorn Day. Hey, Cam. Hey, Pete, so we're back with Pam, talking about popcorn, and this time we're showing a new recipe that you're working on, right? This is um, something I've done before. We have a gala here every year. We're gonna have our 20th one soon. And I use only Boost Creek's meat. Their meat is the best. And this is going to be a popcorn meatball. Popcorn meatball. So what are the ingredients that you're putting in? I have some salt and pepper that I already put in here. Okay. Just like a dash. And that's how I measure. Uh, we have fresh. Uh, I use Snowville Creamery uh, whipping cream and products that are the best. About a quarter cup of uh, onion. Okay. And I have two cups of my buttered popcorn. Just standard buttered popcorn. That I've done. We're gonna and get then what are these ingredients over here? We're going to dip. Stuff. That's that's our dipping sauces. Oh, okay. After. Then you incorporate this, mix it up. Oh. It's kind of fun because it shoots everywhere. Right, it does. <laughs> so what and did then, you think of popcorn meatballs? Um, my mom used to make these meatballs. And again, like I said, the gala, I always try to um, show off that you can use popcorn as a filler instead of bread. Again, it's gluten-free. So then you just make a... So this is something that could be seen depending so on how it, I like it, it. It is going to be here. Yeah. It's, what do you mean? It's going to be the oh, best I, I, you ever Oh, I know had. it's going to be the greatest. Best meatball you ever eat in your life. What are you talking about? So okay, we're going to make these meatballs. I am going to grab the finished product over here. They are great. And this is that's right a little here. big too. You're thinking a little big there. This is what they look like. How long do you cook them? Um, you bake them in the oven for about just about 15, 20 minutes at 350, and you can dip in all different kinds of sauces. Mm. Um, I got the sweet sour here. You've got a barbecue. You've oh, got man. Italian. I'm going to have these free for samples today. Free I might be doing today. something with these. You might be seeing meatballs to eat here as soon at Pam's and okay. maybe a sandwich. All right. Well, so we'll throw it back to you guys. I'll tell you what. A first for everything. Popcorn oh, wow. meatballs. They're amazing. You, you, they you, are. You had me at meatballs. That's, <laughs> wow. Thanks, Cam. That's really good. Yeah. Well, this morning, Cameron is celebrating a very, very special holiday, National Popcorn Day. This morning, we have some very unique flavors to share, though. There's a day for everything, yeah, isn't why there? Not? He's live this morning at the North Market. He's at Pam's Popcorn. So we have to get to this, uh, what was it, a popcorn chicken breast peanut? Yeah, yeah. Say Something. the name of this again, Pam. Uh, popcorn peanut coated chicken breast. She can't even say it right. <laughs> the popcorn peanut coated chicken breast. Correct. OK, so uh -huh. we got the chicken breast you right here. You got the chicken breast that is, um, of course, from Poultry and Game best chicken in it is marinating in the egg wash hot sauce from k john we've got a spicy and angry uh, okay. a happy and, and, a, and a in between and those are the safe names if those you know are the safe names yes love k john <laughs> again um coat that really good give it a nice smash okay we're gonna put it into the pan here is that good that give it yeah get it oh, in there sorry right, i gotta work i gotta work more. the okay. chicken more all right work the chicken then get it into that pan we're sauteing in a little bit of olive oil and and wow and butter so what flavor are you seeing when you're cooking it uh angry happy angry happy spicy. <laughs> the spicy and what's you, this you um this is okay what happens here is you coat this okay um and let it cook real fast for about three minutes um and it's going to get nice and brown and it's not going to happen here obviously and you put it in the oven in the okay. saute pan for about 15 about 17 minutes on 350 End result is this baby oh, right here. Look at that. And give it a little taste so and a cut. Right here. And then this is a, a peanut butter um, sauce with this has peanut butter and honey. Again, you have your choice of sauce, how hot you want to go, how mild you want to go. Let me do Just, this. We're going to toss it back to them, Pam. Can you send me the recipes that we can put on our website? I will. I will. We're going to put the recipes on GoodDayColumbus.com because these are out of this world, guys. Who would have thought? Who popcorn would've? on chicken. It I've works. Popcorn chicken. Oh, we've heard of popcorn chicken. chicken. Mm. But that's a whole different thing. That sounds yummy. So that that sounds really, really good. I don't think it's a stretch to say Cameron has been popping in around town all morning. He's celebrating National Popcorn Day mm -hmm. today. He's at Pam's Popcorn in the North Market. Good morning, Cam. Hey, welcome back, guys. First, I want to thank Pam thank so much for letting us come out you. here for National thank Popcorn you. Day. It's my day. It's like another birthday. There you go. <laughs> this is your day. So it is my day. If people want to come out and enjoy it here at the North Market, you have some specials going on. Talk about the different the flavors. Different you have. flavors. We've got the Chicago style, which is the cheese and caramel mixed together. You have caramel. You have cheese. You have white cheddar. The classic butter, sweet and salty. I have a flavor named after all of my children and my dog. Aww. 
Um, I also I have uh, usually about 20 flavors at all times. 20 flavors to choose New from. flavors always pop in my head, and I use everybody for guinea pigs. I, that, that's yes. what we did. Speaking yes. of guinea pigs, we tried those meatballs. Right, and I'm going to be sampling those today as well for free, and I probably will be offering them as a lunch item as well. No way! Yes. And they tasted great, so we do want to make sure you put that on the menu I in will. the future. I will. And when are you here during the North Market? What are your hours? I am here Monday from 11 to to five okay. Tuesday to Friday we're here from uh, nine to seven Saturday eight to seven and Sunday ten to five great all the time all the pretty much all, all the, time, the time because you are the popcorn queen. I am the popcorn queen of course I missed Arnold twice uh, I, we did get a picture I of did, Arnold over here I did get to <laughs> I did get to do him um, Talk, FaceTimed him with Bedhead. That is so cool. He was cool. Well, thank you so much thank again, you, Pam. Cameron. Thank Make you, Make sure you guys celebrate National Popcorn Day. Come out here. If you're going to try one, my favorite. Oh! Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> they poured popcorn on us on TV. We're going to throw it back to you. You made a mess. Let me have some. That's okay. It was good. Is he going <laughs> to? Yeah, he did. He is. Yes, he did. Eating off the floor. <laughs> That's our boy. It is.